if you just so the data as uh, as ken said the data is very strong we have a now a long runway where we've been able to to do this and and that obviously the data trumps i mean but it's interesting just just when you talk to people that have that have done this and there have been people that that will get infected they, they get hit they test positive they go get it and then they'll say within 24 or 48 hours they felt it was like a totally different ball game um and what it is is when you get infected you, know, you your body produces antibodies to then fight the virus uh and people who end up having an easy time with with covid usually do that fine and and, and they're and they're great uh folks who are in these higher risk categories they sometimes don't produce uh the type of antibodies that they need to be able to to combat the virus and so what this does is it's an antibody cocktail it's providing that and then those antibodies get to work and really fight uh, against the virus and i think that's why you've seen it's uh, people will say that everything is resolved within sometimes 24, 48 hours. I mean, that's a really, really big deal. And I think that part of the reason it isn't as well known is because this was given emergency use authorization about the same time that the Pfizer and the Moderna were under EUA approved. So obviously people were looking at the, at the vaccines as a major thing, and rightfully so. Um, and so I think that this was something that even though the hospitals all embrace it, we work with them early on and said, do you need us to do anything? They're like, no, we, we have it. And, and most of them have been doing well here in Northeast Florida. I was at Tampa General. They do a lot. Uh, our sub, we think the supplementing them now will be helpful. But it was, it was there. Uh, but I think it was not something that was really publicized. I don't know. I mean, maybe people thought that if you tell them there's a treatment, then they wouldn't necessarily get vaccinated. I don't think it's an either or. I think we know in a situation, you know, we have people in society that, that are not vaccinated. We also have people that are vaccinated who are still testing positive. And so either way, you know, if you get in that situation, particularly in these high risk categories, this should be your stop. This is what you should be asking your doctor about and do this. We will probably, uh, the Surgeon General is uh, probably gonna do a standing order, which will make our sites uh, available to people if they you know, meet the certain criteria. So they won't even necessarily need a prescription from a doctor because we'll have the standing order. So hopefully that'll make it easier for people and it'll increase access for folks going forward. So we, uh, this is just uh, one thing we're doing. We're gonna be doing more, uh, but I do think that this is probably the best thing that we can do uh, to reduce uh, the number of people that require hospitalization.